I'm gonna take you through an external rotation pales rails setup with a supported upper arm, a supported shoulder. So if I'm working on my right shoulder, I'm gonna have my arm resting on something at about shoulder level, as long as that's not painful. I'm gonna abduct, bring my elbow out to the side so that you can put a pole right through my elbow and shoulder, like so. Then I'm gonna make sure that I can rotate here without pain. Then some kind of stick, ideally something big enough with a nice surface area that's not gonna stab you or be painful with your hand. We're gonna take that and we're gonna push it into a surface in front of you. Okay, so this might be a little tricky to figure out exactly where to do, but the height can be anywhere. So if I really wanted to, and actually I do prefer to do this, I have a counter that I use, that one. <laughs> you can do kneeling or half kneeling and put your arm like this. So this is my ideal for filming purposes I'm showing you here. All right, so you could put blocks up here, you could use a chair or a counter. So whatever position you are comfortable in, you're gonna be able to relax your shoulder, you're going to get a stick or pole or something and then set up so that this is right at the edge of your ability to externally rotate. So if I can externally rotate this much, I'm gonna move my body so that this is right at the edge. And I'm gonna hang out here, okay? Not let myself move, take some deep breaths. Then for my pales contraction, I'm gonna to try to internally rotate my shoulder, which is essentially gonna be pushing into this and it's not gonna move. So a really solid isometric contraction. Okay, so I'm gonna take this away, imagine it's still there. I'm pressing, trying to do this, trying to rotate this way. Nothing's happening. We're gonna build up that pressure nice and slow. Take about 10 seconds to get to your max effort. Hold that max effort for about another 10 seconds. Then, take this, try to rotate pulling away from your pole without leaning your body, without retracting, just rotation. Once you find a presumably new amount of rotation, scoot your body forward and boom, you're in your new position and you can do the same thing again. Okay, so I found this to be really effective because you can get a really solid isometric. Um, with your shoulder supported, it tends to be a little nicer to your shoulder and it's not as much work to hold it up the whole time, you can really focus all your attention on the rotation. So find a position at which you can rest your arm at about shoulder height, whatever works, kneeling, seated, standing, uh, and give it a shot.